welcome. This video is about efficiencies in your lab. Uh, so whenever you're doing mushroom farming, you want to make sure that you're handling the bags as least amount of pos as possible. Every time you're handling a bag, it's more time. So you don't want to be taking a bag down to put it here, to move it there, to move it there, and then go and then finally do something. If you're going to do something, you know, grab it off your rack, inoculate it, seal it, put it away. Don't. Uh, I used to like make a row of bags and open them all up and scoop into each one or, or pour into each one. And the issue with that is you just have a lot of crap going on. It's a much larger, you have a lot of more bags that are opened at once. So by just keeping it to one or two bags at a time, it makes it a much quicker, smoother uh, pr uh, process. You're not moving around as much. Um, so pretty much right here, I, I, don't, I take a step back to grab the, the blocks and whatnot, but my whole workstation is right here with my feet maybe moving a couple of inches at the most. Um, so I, I just got a new sealer. This is my 10 millimeter double jaw automatic. Uh, one of the main advantages of this over the magnetic hold ones are you can do double handed. So that makes it to where you can line up the bag exactly how you want it to and then boom, seal it. Uh, whereas the magnetic hold, which are still great sealers, you have to hold the bag with one hand and then the other hand you have to operate the lever with. These are a great step above the the regular manual ones because you can seal it and then walk away and go shake your bag or whatever while it's sealing and cooling. Um, opposed to the manual ones where you have to stand there and hold it for five to 10 seconds. Uh, and these are much more repeatable too with the cool down, it's, it's on timer. So uh, I'll show you how I do my bags really quick. And uh, this is the dryer, I, I'm using, I've been using it for like three weeks now. It's a tumbler dryer, I have a video all about just that if you wanna check that out, I'll put the link below. So uh, yeah, let's, let me show you my process the new, with the new lab. So with, with this dryer, you can't just spawn the bag and throw it in. You definitely have to break it and kind of get the spawn moving around a little bit and then it'll finish uh, shaking it. So you gotta spend at, like two or three seconds at the most uh, getting the mix started, all right? So from here, two bags is the most that I'm gonna have out at one time. Give me one bag on the table and then one bag in the mixer in the tumbler. And I'm actually spawning a little bit heavy. I have a lot of spawn right now, so spawn in two scoops instead of just one. All right, now while that's sealing, I go grab a bag, make sure that it's shooken upright, make sure that it's still sealed, put it on the rack, level it out, and while I'm here, I'm gonna grab the next block, okay? Check the seal, pressure, shake it in a little bit, and go for it. So that's pretty much the process that I do, just keep doing that. Um, if you have a good pace, you should be doing like 80 to 120 if you're really good uh, bags an hour. So one of the things that you'll notice if you're watching your clock is that a lot of the time is, is in the prep and the tear down, you know, all the the cleaning of your bag, your bags of spawn, cleaning of your table, uh, you know, getting everything ready. Uh, and then at the same time, the tear down when you're done, the cl cleaning up all the mess you have everywhere, cleaning it up, sweeping. Um, so it, it, you might be able to do a uh, hundred bags in an hour, but if you're doing 80 bags, you know, it might only take you 10 minutes less or, or you know, like, or say 50 bags, it might only take you 45 minutes to do it because of the fact you still have to do all that tear up and, and tear down. Another thing is you don't want to let that tumble for too long because sometimes it rips the seal because it's just tumbling and tumbling and tumbling and it, it'll, it'll crack it open. Um, yeah, that's pretty, much, that's pretty much it for the new setup and you know the concept of keeping it quick, minimal steps. Uh, I try to do that throughout my grow. And uh, if, you, if you like this video and you like you know, my way of explaining things, I do have hands-on classes. Uh, so I have one in October and I have one in November of 2018, right after this video is made. And uh, you can enroll on MyersMushrooms.com. And from there you can, you can register for the classes and see what other stuff I got going on. But uh, hopefully you like this video, hopefully you like my new lab setup. Uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, keep on mushrooming. Take it easy.